Hello there. Today, we're taking a look at We Are Football 2024, which is basically a recently released football manager game. And this game does things a little bit different than FM in the sense that this, I feel, is more arcadey. And we're going to be trying it out. The first choice is women's or men's football. We're just going to do the uh, men's football. I think that is pretty much straightforward. As you see there also, we could choose a database. Uh, you can make your own databases and edit it. We could probably have found some on the uh, workshop, but I decided to just go with the basic one. And as you see, we're kind of limited here in the number of countries, the number of clubs, which is kind of what you'd expect for a new management game. But there's still a decent amount here. Germany has eight leagues. Austria has seven. Most of them only have one or two. Uh, but there's still a decent, decent chunk here. Four for England, three for France. But uh, definitely the focus here does seem to be on the German League. Unfortunately, no North America, Australia, or Africa in this game at the moment. But as I said, I assume you can edit the database to get those added if you feel like it. Now, as I said, I have tried this for a little bit. I played in the lower leagues, and it is more of a arcadey um, football management game. It seems that it has more width than depth, so... I'd like to just make that clear. And the first thing we do here is actually set up our manager, of course, like most games. Name, birth, birthday, personal life is a feature that we can have. Manager level, starting level one. I haven't actually reached level two. And it also gives us some skill like leadership, improvement, and media. So as you can see, we actually have a minus on the media, which assumes that I'm not that good at it. You can also choose your nationality and known languages, and over the course of the game, you can also learn more languages, so again, pretty much has width. And if we want to here, we could add a wife, uh, family members, as you can see, but I think for the time being, we're just going to be focusing on the management aspect, and maybe we'll have a look at some of the other features in other videos, but I'm going to go ahead and add a dog pet named Luna, and we could also just go ahead and simulate the person live. Uh, at a club if we really, really wanted to, but we'll just leave that to you for the time being. Now, next up is setting up our difficulty. We have easy, normal, and difficult, as well as customizing it individually. We're going to go with normal, and we're going to separate our transfer and club budgets, which is basically what the FM does. Budgets here, again, we can choose between huge, medium, and low. We're just going to stick with the normal difficulty, the middle ground. Club grounds, huge, medium, and small. Basically, as I said, this game has a lot of width rather than depth. So you have your own club grounds and you're going to have to build them up in a fashion that you like. We'll have a look at that later on. Building times, short. Transfer market and negotiation difficulty at medium. Scouting importance, normal. You can also set it to not needed or essential, which means that, well, we're going to have to scout anyone we want to sign or we can just ignore scouts completely. Job security, normal, pretty straightforward. Successful training, basically how easy it is for your players to become better. Injury probability, same thing. Uh, how, how likely they are to injure themselves and help with disciplinary consequences. We're getting a little bit help there. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and play it on normal. And I think that's fine. Now, interestingly enough, you have club creation as one of your options. You also have the World Cup and European Championship. Career without a job to start off with. And you also have select the club. So all of these are pretty widely available to you in terms of choosing how you want to start now if you do create a club as you can see here we are going to be starting in the lowest division so you are going to have to work your way up from the bottom if you wish to create your own club so we are just going to go ahead and not do that for the time being today we're going to be testing out kind of what this game has to offer if it is any good so we're going to be selecting a uh, top tier club probably in england as they are the ones that i have most uh, knowledge about and we're going to be working from there. Currently, we're in uh, <laughs> Germany, however. Yeah. We take a look here at what we have available. Manchester V is, of course, City. Uh, Manchester R. United. You get the idea here. Nothing here is really super, uh, super perfect or anything like that. But you get kind of the idea of what you are looking at here from the stars and from everything else. We have what i think i'm gonna think that i'm gonna do uh, arsenal here because they have the best player being the biggest talent and i do love racing talent but yeah as 
as expected, they don't have the full licensing for everything, which isn't really that, surpr that surprising. We can also play without dismissal, so if we do not wish to get fired, I believe that is what this means. But yeah, you can kind of see what you are looking at in terms of your starting balances, team market values, and basically difficult features from there. We have reputation. We can also go lower leagues, but uh, we're going to give Arsenal a go here. Okay, so here we can see they would like to sign us. There's a strong resistance to it. But we have some season objective bonuses, signing fees, tile bonus, and of course the salary. We also have some options that we could try and add, like I want a one year longer contract, a one year shorter contract. I can leave anytime during my final year. Or if I get fired, I get the full uh, remaining salary. So if I have an extra year of my contract when I get fired, I get an extra 160,000 compared to 80,000. So we could try and, you know, get the most money out of anything. We're going to go ahead and accept this, and we're just going to say no to managing a national team. We'll be focusing on the club. I think that would be good. Welcome to A London. We can have a look at the stadium. And as you can see, it's fully 3D. Now, you can actually modify this stadium as you see fit. So this might change as we play. We can also have a look at the club grounds. So as I mentioned, you kind of have to build up your own club ground so you can even see the stadium over the distance. But you're going to have to add things like training pitches, badminton pitch, um, gym. I believe that is a fan diner. But yeah, there's a whole lot of buildings that you can mess with in uh, in the club grounds. And it's going to have an effect on your how quickly your players get trained, your income, things like that. So as, as again mentioned, this game has a huge ton of width. I don't know about the depth yet because I haven't played it too much. But as I said, it's very interesting and we'll have a bit of a look at it. So we'll just continue. Now, today's the preparation for the season 23-24. Uh, players back from the holidays. Single losing championship is still there. But uh, the same team does not wish to dwell on it. And also this game has an action point system that you can use to give yourself boosts over the course of the season. We start off with four. But I'll be going over kind of as we play what they are used for. So initially here, we can try and mess with the season objective. We could try and increase it to, say, position two or lower it to position four. And as you can see, we have negotiation points here. So any changes that we do here, it's going to cost us a point. So what I'm going to do here is just put a little bit of extra money into that transfer budget. And we'll still try and be one of the top three teams. Uh, we can also go and have a look at the finances here. So... Currently, we just have a transfer budget, club budget, plus uh, start of season still available, a bank balance. And if we want to, we can actually mess with these numbers ourselves to try and predict the calculations. So, yeah, that's not something we're going to have a big look at, but we, we do have some use there as well as the board popularity. Last year, boards doesn't really affect us. But yeah, the board is not super happy with me right now, just 80 out of 100. It's still good though, let's be fair. Next up, we have the kits here that we can edit if we wish to. Honestly, I am perfectly fine with just leaving them as is, but you can basically do kind of whatever you want here. You have a ton of options for how you want your players to look, your kits to be. And we can also change the design at any later time if we wish to, so we'll just leave it as is for now. And next up, we are going to be setting the rules that will apply to us. Now, these rules seem to be pretty rigid in the sense that they really, really care about them. And a little bit of a test game I did in lower division, I put my monies on youth. I generally played players that were below 23 years of age. And even then, the team felt like I was not living up to that promise. So we're just going to go with age does not matter. Anyone can show me in training that he wants to play. Form, current form. Just going to go with this one. I believe that is, again, just a middle ground. Everyone gets a chance. We want to improve in the long term. I believe that is generally how I play these games. And we're also going to, of course, be playing attacking football. We could also add some, uh, some promises to the transfer market. One player from each age group has to make it. Only sign players I can sell for profit. A little bit unsure what this one actually means. But yeah, I don't think we need to add any of these uh, promises. So leave them as they are. Next up, this is our squad and the difference here between how this game does it compared to how 
FM just skills is that you get just a overview of the level, strength of main position. It is again reference with stars. You get to know which look uh, which position they play, left wing back or left midfielder, the level of talent, and which foot they are well good with, as well as form, height, age, and player type. In this case, this guy's a leader, development potential. Doesn't have much left, but he's 19 years old, he's already fairly good. And honestly, I believe most of this team is fairly young. Anton Tyler is an exception at 31. Uh, we have James Adam, who is 17. 17 years, already one of the best players on the team. So again, a lot of talent. Um, yes, yeah, so I think it's going to be fun. We do have some older players. We also have Boca Boy here, who was uh, slated as the biggest talent. He's a mega prospect at four stars. Has still maximum potential left, and he's already... You look at it from the actual level perspective our best player currently so as you can imagine this guy is going to be fairly interesting and if you look at it from an age group perspective we have five players 20 or younger <coughs> that would probably be a part of the first team so this looks very very interesting from from that perspective as well honestly now, as you see the way that this game does things too is that there are skills in this case stamina robustness plus plus Dribbling long pass and shooting technique, as well as debuffs. Like this guy is incredibly slow. Uh, that's his debuff, but he's good at free kicks, winning the ball, short and long passes, as well as anticipation. So, yeah, we'll have to see exactly how these skills do pan out because I haven't been, I haven't had a team yet where I've really been able to uh, play around with these. But yeah, it's a bit, it's a different way than the way FM does it. And again, this is one of the reasons why I feel like this game might be a little bit more arcadey. Uh, Focusing in width rather than depth. So I think that is fine though. Okay, so as you can see here, we can use our four action points to give certain players boosts. So we're not going to be doing that for the time being. We can choose what we're going to be focusing on. We can go with no special emphasis. Next game, uh, player training. We can improve our squad, organization. Uh, staff, finance, sponsors, and basic fitness. So we have a bunch of things that we need to kind of deal with. But uh, we also have a buff here, motivation. Uh, we're going to lose that if we get to either three times. So let's see how we do with that. We're going to be starting against Nottingham in 40 days. So yeah, it's uh, it's quite big. And the first thing you're going to have to do here is just, again, make some choices. What's our training focus? We could click on it to get a little bit more options here. But I think, honestly, the one that we have here, getting the fitness up during preseason, would be good. And honestly, improving this squad would be an idea because we do have a fairly high transfer budget. So we're going to click further one. Brings us into the next screen. Basically just set the goals for the week. And now we can start looking at the, well, scouting new players, getting things done. Again, we have the option here to boost, but it costs action points. And again, these are fairly valuable, so using them for training, probably not too recommended. We also have Team Spirit, which is currently on the uptake. We have our supporters, our players, and blood popularity, our budgets. And as I said, we have the option here to extend the club grounds. And as you can see, these are where things are at. We have the mini stadiums, the things that we can add, stadium for the reserve new teams, tennis court with a fence, fitness box mall. And again, as you can see, you kind of just have to find spare places to place them. You can design things as you see fit. You actually have a huge area here to play around with. But yeah, getting this made like we have a training hall level 2. We get a high-tech training uh, center, which would give us 5% technical, 5% skill training. You can also flip how it's phasing. But yeah, building these things can give you a lot of boosts. Boost fan mood and growth. Uh, research in terms of training theory and data analysis. We could even build a mansion for the chairman to get board popularity, uh, sell sausages for spectators, solar power, climate neutrality. So it's a bunch of options there. And again, that's why I'm, kind of what I'm saying. It has a lot of width uh, is what I'm seeing so far. But yeah. I don't know if we want to build anything just yet. We're going to see what we can do. But as you can see, surgery center, long term injury times down by 10%. Short in shortness injury times by 5%. Uh, 
uh, gifting spirit employee satisfaction. So I think what we're going to do is probably get some get the high tech training center actually built because I think that would benefit us in the long term. And we could probably just build it here. Uh, well, the board the, probably don't want to build it there where it's in the middle of the uh, the badges or something. But what are we going to do here? I would like to extend the sorry, that was the wrong one. I'd like to extend the footpath here so that we can actually have it look good. So we're going to go ahead and find the footpath. There we go. Is this the one they've used? Not really. So they used the basic one. If I click here, it should link up. And as you can see, it does. So we'll just extend the footpath like that. And we're going to go ahead here and build, as mentioned, that high tech training center. Because it's not super expensive, it's one and a half million. And it does give us uh, technical training and skill training, 5%. I'd say that's uh, acceptable. And it's facing east, which should be to the right, which would be the pathing here. We're going to go ahead and get that built. I think that did not save it. It did not because I clicked escape instead of up there. So we're going to have to do that again. Sorry. I am a little bit of a silly goose. So let's do it like that. Let us find the high tech center. Let's make it face east. And we'll slap it down. And as you can see, it's going to take 207 days and 11 days to make the footpaths. We are just going to go ahead and sign the construction contract. And I'm happy with that. Now, office, office utilization is something else. Uh, stadium utilization, we'll see that go up as we have more like, games. We'll get to, go, get to know how many fans are actually in the stadium with each... Uh, each um, game basically we don't know that yet what's good what's bad you can also have a look here and what we are lacking we have at least one unused place in our youth boarding school i have not organized a season opening yet I haven't held a sponsor stay yet we have no stadium sponsor and many ad boards still unsold so we have weaknesses here as you can see we have strengths so the game does give you advice on that and we're going to be trying to deal with a lot of those right now so to get started Let's go ahead here and have a look at our squad. So, let's do by this. We have one left and right wing back. Pretty good. We have two central defenders. Both of them are pretty good. We're going to be playing defensive midfielders. And definitely a left midfielder here. Right midfielder. Attacking midfielder. And probably just one striker. Let's see if we can actually figure out our tactic here. Let's see. We also have our U team. As you can see. 17, the local, you can actually hold the screen day, furnish up boarding school, youth camps. But what I wanted to see if I could figure out is scouting. There we are. We also have 128,000 supporters. And as you can see here, we could try and snatch some potentially better four star players. Level after signing, he has an 86% of being a four star goal. And again, City for the most part here. He's only worth 40, uh, 4 million though. So potentially we could try and snatch him. But I think we're going to try and scout him. And we're going to try and scout this guy. Although he is way too expensive for us. Heim Tolva could be an interesting fellow. Because he's only 19 years old. So let's go ahead and scout him as well. And I think that is it for England. Because as you can see, we can actually choose country. Or we could do this. Which gives us basically everyone everywhere and this could give us more chances to find talent like this guy from barcelona uh but trocomata here he's just 20 years old let's go ahead and give him a scout central defender 20 years old let's go ahead and scout him as well and right attacking midfield is what i believe this actually means so might as well go ahead and scout him as well but some of these guys are far more expensive than others, particularly if you look at them from talent's perspective. This guy is a five-star talent, but he's 32 years old. So it might be that we go for uh, Matthew Gallard, who is also very talented. Yeah, all our scouts are currently busy. We're just going to have to wait now until they're finished with scouting. But what I want to do here is actually set up a strategy. And here we are. Current tactic that we're playing is uh, left midfielder, right midfielder, two DMs. And honestly, I think I'm happy with this. But here's the thing. You can actually move these players 
around where you want yourself. So if you want it to be more aggressive, you can. If you want it to be more defensive, you can. And the game will actually give you an estimation of how well they're going to perform. So we can move our left midfielder and our right midfielder up a little bit to have a more aggressive uh, 4 2 3 1. And I think we're going to try that because we do want to play attacking football. But at the same time, we don't want to lose any potential from playing too aggressively. But as you can see, our team is generally from 11 to 12 on the ratings. So strengthening the team should be a little bit more difficult. We could also go for a rule based lineup here. So the priority is energy, training impression, and form. And, uh, well, you can also apparently put in the effect here on how much the rules will be affecting things. Key formation. Uh, basically, if you do this without key formation, your assistant manager will just uh, change things around a little bit. But yeah, this should be okay. We do have some players here that we might want to try and let go, maybe. But currently, I think we'll we'll be fine. So yeah, setting up tactics is pretty straightforward here. We do have assistant, which can select bench and lineup to make things a little bit easier for us. We can also just straight delete the lineup, make a new strategy from scratch, get the idea. Uh, we also have our general tactics here: offensive football with short passes, shows the effort needed from the team, skill uh, needed, and skills really benefit that we're currently also playing all out attacks so i think we're just going to fall out a little bit down there to just very offensive i think that should be fine we can also have this as manager manage the tactics we can turn that off but as i said there's a lot of options here that could make things uh make things a bit interesting now personal here we can have a talk with the board we can view the contract those who are interested in those again there's just a lot of options in this game already uh, that makes things kind of interesting. And I, we have the medical absentees, the transfers and scouting window. These are the current place we're having a look at. The travel and sports can actually start traveling earlier, for instance. Traveling two days before the game, just a day before. Uh, apparently, they don't like being two days before, so we'll just do one. And we can even turn up the accommodation. Uh, can also turn up the accommodation for when we do away match in tournaments. Arrive by train the same day. Maximum distance for train rides, 400. They don't really like riding the train by the looks of it. So yeah, we'll be flying to where we're going. We can also delegate. We can organize friendlies, tournaments, uh, promotion tour. Uh, training camps, ask and get. For now, we're just going to delegate it. Because again, this game does have a lot of width. So you're going to be spending a lot of time messing around with this. And uh, yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and do it like this because we have the money and just going to leave it like that. But yeah, we're going to delegate it to the, the friendlies, the tournament, promotion tour, training camps, to the head of the department. It's just going to make life a little bit easier. And right here we do have our current, uh, our current uh, staff. David Redhead is our assistant manager. He is two gold stars, 42 years old. He has resilience and loyalty. And he's being paid 20,000 or so a week. He's not being utilized too uh, well. He's being utilized 40% as a special coach, 50% as support staff. And you can kind of see here how things are working out. So, yeah. I don't know how to fully read this, but we'll probably be investing or having a look at this later on. But currently, Ben Simon is ahead of HR. Pretty good. We could, of course, go ahead and search for a new department head, uh, make speeches. Again, a lot of things you can do. Statistics, you can have a look at your staff here. Workloads, we can prevent to, I assume, make sure they don't get uh, tired as much. <laughs> Again, it's a, lot, it's a lot to take in. Uh, no free coffee. <laughs> so you have a bunch. You have a bunch of options as mentioned. The stadium. We can actually extend this. And as you can see, this is basically how it works. We have the roof. We have seats. We have a VIP box. We have the ad boards. And what we can do here now is actually choose if we want to say add a VIP box with video ring. We can just add a standard VIP box, and you can even choose where it's going to be. In this case, we have it on 
the long side. We could put one in on the opposite side. We could add more seats. And as you can see, it's going to cost some money. It's going to take some time. But if we want to, we can actually extend the stadium like that. And you can do it at any time, which I do kind of enjoy. So we can play around with that. We can also invest in uh, stadium tour. Our current condition is pristine and perfect, so nothing to be complaining about there. We can upgrade our scoreboard, say a video cube, if we really want to. And we could also uh, upgrade our roof, our lights. So there is a bunch of options that you have available here to, uh, to mess around with. And I do think that we're going to install rolling ad boards for that 5% extra revenue. We do have to negotiate that, uh, those sponsorships. But we could also go ahead and improve the public transport a little bit. As you can see, it's uh, pretty cheap to do so. And I do think that is fine. We're also getting some climate protection bonus. Uh, so might as well just go ahead and get this maxed out. Climate neutrality is a bit of a interesting thing they've added here. Uh, honestly, we're not going to be messing around too much. We're going to offer vegan food for those who want it. We could use reusable cups. I think that's fine. Energy saving lamps. And we're just going to skip on the climate, the certificate for now. But generally, climate neutrality is an interesting thing that they have in this game. <laughs> Let's put it like that. And you also have your Hall of Fame. So, as mentioned, there's a lot of... There's a lot of interesting things that you can mess around with here. You can usually delegate most of it. But it's definitely, definitely um, interesting. We could also try and go public with an investor. Uh, investor. But yeah, basically, if you have your own club, that could be interesting. And here we actually do have the sponsorship contract. So currently we do have a contract with a tourism hotel gastronomy service that pays us 44 million. Um, we have a supply contract that pays us seven and a half. Stadium sponsor, the sleeve sponsor. And we're going to be selling the, the naming rights here. And as you can see, when you do things like this, you actually have to put them onto your schedule. So your schedule actually becomes important. Hours planned, 34 out of 44. So if you do, you can basically overwork yourself to some degree, uh, which is fairly interesting. We also have the stands here. The main stand currently has a uh, contract with Punk and Park. And we can go ahead and sell the naming rights for the other stands as well. Bring in a little bit of extra income. And we also have the ad boards and TV money. So currently, we have 10 more ad boards of, uh, uh, that we could add sponsors on. So we're going to go ahead and search for that. And we're going to go ahead and just make all three appointments that we are allowed to. And we can also sell 48 more ad boards for the stands. So we're going to go ahead and get that done as well. Get some more financials in here. And here we have the sales for marketing. Not really too much to say here. We can actually mess around with uh, production too, if we really want to. We can make a, a club app. I think that would be fun to make. Uh, yes, we can go ahead and develop a club app. It's going to take us two months. That's fine. We could go with lower quality, but honestly, premium is good enough. We could have a charity event. Uh, let's go ahead and organize that. Again, goes into the schedule. Currently, we are going to have an extremely tough week. So what we could do is, of course, try and split this around a little bit. But I think it's it's fine to just get all of this out of the way. First week is going to be rough. We can take over a club. Let's be perfectly honest. Supporters, we could mess around with uh, the club motto. The short motto is just respect. We have a budget here for our members. Uh, choreos, subsidies for away trips. But we do have the hot fans, yes. So yeah, as you can see, we do pay a little bit for... Basically, our fans uh, to help us out. We can also meet the fan club, organize a meeting, send players to meet them, or just send them presents. Currently, we have 128,000 organized fans, while we have 6 million countrywide. We could also name a mascot, if you wish to. And we could also give all new bones in London a Arsenal romper. So, yes, we, we do, again, a bunch of options available to you at any given time, which is interesting. We also have... Settings here for assistant things, where we can just, again, put uh, uh, 
look after fan uh, fan clubs, look after stands. I think we'll just leave that to the coordinator. We can have pitch maintenance be automatic. And we can also, again, automate the finances. I kind of like to have control over that. Organize training camp, uh, organize match training camps. I guess that's fine. Organize accommodation and organize season opener. I think that's fine too. So as you can see, you can actually, just like in FM, have some decent control over what your, uh, what your assistants do. We have statistics, we can search, we can have a look at the achievements. Apparently we don't really have anything uh, going for us. I have gotten one achievement so far. But yeah, I think we're ready to finally get into the uh, games themselves. Uh, but we are going to be probably trying to do a little bit of transfers. But as I said, this game is more of an arcade in the sense that you set up your week. And once you have prepped everything, you kind of click, click this button. They give you some uh, some advice on what you should do. You should suggest investing money to receive interest rates. For now, I don't think I'm too interested in that. We could organize a friendly. I believe I have both of these hatches set up as automatic at this point. But we might as well just add them in so you see how it works. And I should do some sport. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Hours planned, minus two from sports. So doing personal objectives does actually kind of benefit you. And as you see, we can set personal, personal focus. We can set reminders if we need to remember to, you know, sign a player's contract is running out, for instance. We could study the player market in different countries, get more knowledgeable. But yeah. As you can imagine, the, there is, again, a lot of options on what you can do. Next up is uh, the training for the week. Generally, I've just left this up to the uh, AI. We could select a predefined week. We could rehearse attacks. But yeah, I think we're just going to keep on working on that basic fitness level. We don't have the best stamina. We have decent uh, energy, though. And here you can kind of see how good our team is at different things, like distant shots, counterattacks. But yeah. We do have a little bit of work ahead of us, so we'll leave that as is. Training groups, uh, haven't really messed too much with them. I don't think we need to right now. So we could also go with the assistant manager suggestion. Doesn't have any suggestion for training groups anymore. And it's already set to automatic, so no big deal. Now, once we've actually done all of this, we can actually get through the week. And our first thing is to set ticket prices. Fan opinion at these prices, the VIP boxes are very happy with. We could lower the prices to 90 million or 90 million. 90 uh, uh, bucks per ticket is going to cost us money, of course, because we are basically giving a 600k, um, 600k less money in on a sold out stadium. But I think it's fine to be a little bit nice to the fans here, I'll be honest. Now, currently now we're going through the week and everything that we set up and we did set up a bunch of sponsor negotiations. So we have received a sponsor, Punk in the Park here, for the stadium contract. It is currently set up until 2031 for 3.8 million a year. This gives us 30 million over the course of the contract. Here we have our negotiation points and negotiation rounds. So we are kind of limited here on what we can do, but we can try and negotiate say the money up to at least 5 million a, uh, a season. Let's see how they feel about that. They want 4. Let's try 4.6. 4.4. I think we can agree with that. So we have a little bit of negotiation. We could also cause cut down on the term if we believe we're going to become a very, very much better team uh, over the course of this deal. Cut down on the years because this is basically a fairly long contract. We're just going to go ahead and sign it. So yeah. That's uh, that's basically okay. We could probably also have tried to find a a more interesting sponsor. High risk with high bonuses, low fixed amounts. So yeah, if we take a look at this. Tile bonus is hundred sixty thousand, two hundred forty thousand a per year. The opposite stand. I believe the other stand that we had was about two hundred eighty, um, two hundred and eighty thousand. Uh, but I think we're going to go ahead here and just say no, because again, they're small and international. I think we'd like to have a bit of a bigger uh, sponsor, probably none that one that isn't focused with high bonuses. Uh, we like high fixed amounts, so we're going to abandon negotiations here. These guys, medium risk, average fixed amounts of bonuses, they're large and national, which isn't too shabby. Uh, standistus. 
I'm a little bit unsure. But uh, Mars Sander Supplies, again, is a fairly lengthy contract. Let's see if we can get that up to a little bit more money. They're only willing to go with 340. I think that's fine. So it's not a huge amount of money, but everything does help in the long run. And here you can kind of see the schedule. So it's kind of rough. I am going to go ahead and just skip the uh, English Cup here because this is going to take quite a lot of time. We're going to be playing Southampton in the second division. That should be fine for the cup, uh, for the cup draw. I guess we can watch all the cup draws. Oh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, Middlesbrough, the League Cup, that's fine. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and negotiate all of these contracts. And then we will get back onto the... Uh, uh, get back and actually get into a game, I think. So we did negotiate for the stands, but there's actually another type of negotiation. That is the ad boards here. And this one is actually fairly easy because we can currently see what we're getting paid per board. So these guys are offering us a million for a singular board here. Uh, currently, that is basically the highest pay we're currently receiving. So I'm just going to be very, very nice here to the small local pumpkin park and uh, sign that contract. That's not really a big deal. And they're actually back with another another one of the same. So let's go ahead and just sign that as well. Gelcaster, uh sponsors, they want also just one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sign it again, being a little bit uh, a little bit cheesy here. Now this is a different ad board, but uh, they have an offer for three perimeter boards at 93,000 per board. I think this is acceptable, honestly. Uh, apparently, I have a, I am a bundle of nerves as a negotiator because I'm not negotiating, basically. So that is kind of the the problem here. Okay, so yeah, we can choose who we want to negotiate with here. Yeah, that's fine. That's actually new. I thought these were our current offers, but yeah, um, that was my fault. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can negotiate this 360 sign that contract and apparently i'm not allowed to negotiate with anyone else but yeah that was my fault you can actually negotiate with anyone on the list i thought these were the ones that we had available to us but that's actually the interested one so my bad for being silly yeah then we can actually find someone that actually is willing to pay decently per board for more boards like get pumpkin park here See if we can negotiate that up to uh, 500,000. 480, 460. They're, agree they're agreeing to that. So that brings in a little bit more. I think we can be happy with it. But yeah, you get the idea here. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and sign that contract. But you do get a reputation here. And uh, that does kind of have an effect on you. As you can see, we had to play a second traffic. Let's pay a fine. Charity event is a huge success. Increase the club's reputation. We have the Champion Cups pre-qualifiers, which honestly isn't that interesting to us. And we can actually set up here how many season tickets we want to sell. Apparently my discount was too little. Uh, let's say it set it at, I think 30,000 is fine. Basically half the capacity. So let's go ahead and accept that. Uh, you acquired a sponsor. Wasn't previously considered in the budget. So we get extra transfer budget from these sponsors too. So it's actually kind of important to negotiate good deals, which I've been very, very terrible at. Okay. So what I'm thinking is that we try and find a team that is good, like Bavaria Munich, which should be by Minchin, as far as I can see. We could go to the away stadium. I think that could be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I think we are fine with Bringing them to us, we can actually bring San Sebastian, Donostia. A little bit unsure who these are supposed to be. Athletic? I'm honestly a bit uh, uncertain, but I think they, are, they would be a good option. So let's go ahead and pick them. Training camp, we can actually choose where we want to go. Go to USA, Miami, and it does tell us the options that we have available to us. I do want high, good training conditions though. Uh, weather, luxury isn't really, but training conditions is the most important one. And I think we'll go for two weeks of training. It's going to cost 343000 
and will also bring the highest rated youth players along. Uh, so these three here. I think that's good. So yeah. That's the training camp setup. This is our calendar as of now. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to set up the training camp for after we have that friendly in just a couple of days here. There's a cup draw in here. So I think we're just going to do it like this. Probably should get it closer to the start of the season. So let's place it right here. Yeah, we'll, we'll place it like that. That should be fine. That looks good. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Guess free Davidson coming. <laughs> Liverpool has several prospective candidates. But yeah, uh, Liverpool is trying to buy one of our players. Um... Or at least like to hear the offer, market value, transfer offer. We are going to reject it because they're giving less than half of its value. So not really that interested. But we have now our first potential game here. And I would like to have Boya Burko play it. He's uh, lacking in fitness at the moment. But so is our current uh, player, Hathaway. So we're going to give Burko Boy the chance to play here. Should that be, I think that should be fine. What I am seeing, though, is that we probably do need a backup goalie because we have a 5.4 one currently. So that could backfire, but I think it's okay for the time being. Let's just do like that. This is going to be our team. Let's see what we can do here in this game. It's just a friendly at the moment. We have things set up. Tactical standing opponent. We could change things around in how we want to play. More counterattacks, less counterattacks. No long distance shots, more dribblings. I think this is fine again. We're keeping things kind of balanced to some degree. And uh, yeah. Hmm. A little bit unsure if we want to focus on that left wing or not. Minus, I think, I think the center is where we want to focus on this one, honestly. Because it does seem like that would be where we have more strength. Right side, center, or left side. It's just me being silly again. But yeah, this game gets... It's a, lo it's a lot to learn just because of how much there is in it. But the teams here are pretty equal. Uh, we do have a little bit of an advantage on most of these players. They have a better play in the right midfielder. They have a better play in the goalie and the center defender. But they're playing a 3-4-3, three, three, basically. So... This could get very, very interesting. Now we could use uh, motivation points here for the speech, but honestly, it's a uh, it's a friendly. There's no need for us to, you know, rally or take it easy. We're gonna take it easy here. We could, of course, uh, set up the the risk here, but yeah, we're just gonna take it easy. It's a preseason training game, so there's no need to take risks. We could also add, I'll give you a day off if we win. Screw up the running we've done early next week in the morning. So it's it's interesting. Now, currently, I have the game set up so that we don't get highlights. So let's get that sorted. Long scenes. Put that very fast. Let's turn that down to just fast. And display of 3D info box. Let's turn that to one. Match day conference. Um, let's see. I think this is fine. So yeah, let's get back into it. We're currently taking it easy. We're currently a little bit offensive. But we will see what happens here. So usually this is how it shows. In this case, we are on the defensive. Man is putting in a cross. And uh, header with XG. Uh, why Jilin did save that one. So you do get kind of a lot of the pauses there when things happen, which I'm not too big a fan of. But you do get XGs from individual attacks. It does show you. You also get information on attack or defense. And as you can see, they're also using their skills to some degree. He's shooting. He is. Another fine save from Wyatt.
Apparently we are getting our teeth kicking though. Like we're not playing very well. A volley shot that went just slightly over. That's dangerous. Maybe we need to tune down our aggressiveness a little bit more. To neutral. We are taking it easy. To be that they're trying a little bit harder than we are. But it is worrisome that we are lacking in ball possession. We're lacking in chances. So yeah, we're not doing very, very well at the moment. But we're getting slowly back into it here. You can see that possession is kind of going slightly more towards our team. So while not great, it is at least a little bit better. Yeah, we have no ideas left. Can't complain about lack of good luck. Hopefully we can turn this around uh, by halftime, unless we somehow turn this into a magical goal here now. At the halftime whistle. That's a pretty decent play. See low crossing it. And that should be a goal. Davidson. First chance of the game. We do score. That's actually amazing. <laughs> okay. That's good. Um, I don't feel like we deserve it. But. It's fine. Pre-match we're amused. Uh, I think we're going to be... Go ahead and switch it to offensive football with short passes. We're going to stick with what we have been doing. As it does seem to be not necessarily working. But XG wise. We took that one chance that we did get. But yeah. We, we don't really deserve to be leading. In my honest opinion. Attack by us. Which means that we're going to be winning the ball. Ray does pull that off. That's unfortunate. 0.5 XG header missed. But that does bring us closer to in the XG fight. What I am thinking we're going to do though is some substitutions. We are 60-ish minutes into game. Which is usually when I like to do it. And we have, as you can see, the basic fitness going down here. Most of these guys start around 60. It's gone down. So I'm thinking we're going to be replacing some players. We have a central midfielder. Defensive midfielder. We're going to be bringing him, him in instead of, uh, well, they're actually one of the highest ones. Could bring in Fata for James here. I think that's fine. You can actually see the characters, analysts, team players, leaders, super analysts, I assume, with the extra square. And Tucker we can bring in on the right midfield if we want to, which should be okay. He's not going to play super well there, but he can play there. And Hathaway we can bring in for our super talents. So we're going to be, you know, putting in plays that are slightly worse. But I don't think it's going to be necessarily detrimental. I I'm probably going to eat my words just now, aren't I? He's crossing from there and... That's, in that's insane that they didn't score. Like the first header was blocked. But yeah, I think. It said it gave it XG, so that's why I assumed it was blocked. Maybe it wasn't. That's a good pass. The fact that we are we have 3v2 here now in, in there. He actually missed. Oh, that's disappointing. I saw it. It looks like it's in the goal, but I assume it just went through the side netting then. That's unfortunate. That is generally how the uh, match engine looks. You can see how the total team level is up here. We have our SGs, we have our different coaches. Currently we are rated very poorly. Javier is rated a bit better than us. But uh, it's interesting. We also did lose some level progress here, which is not good. Because that means, well, we aren't going to be progressing as quick. Basic fitness though did get a boost in stamina. We uh, did spend some energy though. Team Spirit is still looking good. 
and our control looks offensive has gained a bit better in terms of playing style as well as the counter attack. So I think we'll be accepting this this outcome. I may welcome a new youth player to my team. Uh, Jackson Ritchie is 13 years old, 1.58. He's a huge prospect at three stars and uh, he's good at corners, lacking a little bit in robustness and dribbling. And I can swap up to five attributes. Uh, I can also choose his birthday, his first name last name. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. But yeah, uh, he does seem kind of interesting. What did I swap into? Dribbling and long passes. Playing central midfield, so... Do I want him to take corners? Probably not. He's good at headers. Player type? <laughs> Oh, shot power plus two. So yeah, I should probably... Hmm. I think I lost out on this gamble. I could reset him. Okay, that's interesting. So basically, you are playing gambling with your talents. Am I using... I was scared that I was using my lightning points for this, but yeah. Looks like he's gonna have two, like, minus ones. And if we're lucky, we can make this one better. What is that star? I assume that star is good. Yes, it made him better as a player. He was 5'4", now he's 6'3". Yeah, we're going to reset that again. <laughs> I don't think there's anything much best we can get. A robustness dribbling should be fine for central midfielder. The star that you make him a little bit better to start off with is good. But this is a weird way to bring in new players, honestly. But it's fun, so it's uh, it's good. Offer declined if it was worth a try. So yeah, that is Jeffrey Davidson who scored the winner in our friendly. So we are happy with that. Currently, the transfer contract 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 extension have happened. Are uh, well, nothing too good. The best play so far has been this guy. He's a most eleven. Yeah, nothing that we are to interested about no matches has been scheduled is because we're going on basically the uh training tour i think we're still going to stick with advancement and basic fitness that should be good let's go ahead and go into the menu here and i do want to have a look now at the uh, youth team so under 17 there we have him richie uh richie jackson as a 13 year old 6 3, but we do actually have some interesting talents if you look at it from that perspective. Uh, he is. We can actually put him in boarding uh, here. Unfortunately, uh, right in Scotland, I am going to take you out of the boarding school and put Dima Carson in instead because I believe we had one extra boarding school um, placement. So we're going to be giving that to the talents that we have. That's actually just having a look at England. But I want to have a look at the guy himself. Kind of see the slots here. Bruce and Tide can't play. Uh, I want to figure out what the boarding school thing was. Because it is a building you can actually build. We can... We actually have three more seats there. We could also furnish our youth boarding school. Or some extension. Let's see what that does. We can hold a screening day. Which I think also would be interesting to look into. I assume that is to looking for talent. We could be looking for... Available youth camps, currently there are none. Additional camp is not available, that's fine. But let's have a look here at what we have available to us. So these guys are loaned out, that's what the blue means. But you can see that we have some of them in the boarding school. But let's see if we can find another talent. If we can't, we're just gonna give the boarding school place that we have available to some of the other player other youth talents, and I think that will be fine. We do still have a lot of transfer budgets available, so we'd like to get the scouting finished on the place that we are scouting but uh, potentially just trying to nab Kyle Wilkinson here would be a good idea he's a right wing back <coughs> but he wouldn't be a bad option I feel and while this guy's 38 years old the amount of positive skills he has is insane and he's still incredibly high rated so he was the talent of a century and he fulfilled expectations. Damn. That's... 
that's impressive. Like, that's an impressive uh, resume. <coughs> I wanted to have a quick look at the scouts, but I guess they're doing their own thing. So we're just going to have to wait. I don't know exactly how long they spend scouting. But I think it should be fine. We can actually go directly into contract talks. Nah, that's not uh, right, I think. Uh, Tolver Hein. How was your value looking? Big prospect currently simply enjoys playing football. Um, I'm disappointed that there isn't really any um, information here about his value. Uh, if there is, I can't see it. He's a Newcastle. He might want to try and find a better head scout since he's only silver. But it does seem to be a very good option. So we'll have to see. Right attacking striker. Yeah. Shot pile and short passes. This guy could actually be good for us. But and there we go. There's the market value. I'm just blind. 42 million. Uh, I'd be willing to pay that. Like get two of these guys. As kind of extra support would be nice. This guy at 44 million as well is acceptable. 26 years old. Almost 13. I think we're going to just wait for the scouts to see what happens. But for now, let's get through with the... Uh, we have set up here we should do some sports let's get that in there we're having a quiet week this time around uh could add some personal focus nope i think that's fine just gonna go ahead and complete the week again leave training up to basically our assistant and uh, this is where i can prepare the existing place for students or remove them cut monthly costs so currently we basically just can scale down we can't actually scale up so we could do it like this but honestly we're just going to keep it at eight then uh we're probably gonna have to build the boarding school building if we want to get more muhammad leonard to transfer to bournemouth 29 million transfer fee that's fine you can only sign one you play during each screening day so choose wisely so they progress you'll know more about the candidates uh i assume i have to pick one of these guys 14 years old 6.4 He got nabbed 17 years old six i should have picked the 14 6.4 honestly might be that we end up without a player i assume i can only pick one 17 years old six one four positive stats we don't know how good of a talent it is but he has 10 form i One star talent, so not anything massively impressive. 15 years, 4.8. I think Resak is going to be your option. Was I too late to click? I think I was. I think I ran out of time. That's an interesting way of doing things. <laughs> like You don't get a list of youth players, you get one. Or maybe, I think I could probably assign more than one, and I just overthought that. I need to test it. So, Liverpool is back with another 20 million transfer offer, but we're just going to go ahead and reject. Club grounds extension partly completed. Uh, basically, this uh, these are the pathways that I laid down. We're still going to need to wait for the, um, for the other, for the other building. And Leonard Mohammed, who got signed here, 11 CM. We're kind of disappointed that we didn't try and nab this guy, but it's fine. But now, as I said, we want to just speed along to the start of the season. Training update. Uh, most of our players are doing well. Leonardo Holland is doing the best currently. But we have some also working on the training objectives that are doing well. Can't complain too much. We have lost some of our tactical condition, though, because we're focusing on the counterattack. And we're losing a little bit of team spirit. That's a bit that's a bit worrying. 
Stamina though is looking good, so we might need to change our training to something that allows us to regain some energy. And we are becoming more tenacious in the counter pressing. Okay. So yeah, basically the way that this game works, as you probably have realized by now, is that it works in uh, order of weeks. And I think for my sanity's sake here, I'm going to go ahead with the financial side of things, the stands. Uh, we're going to delegate, delegate it to head of the department. And we're going to do this as well, because we are. if I'm going to sell 37 more ad boards, I'm probably going to go insane. And again, the youth school still has most uh, unused places. We are lacking on artists, so click that. We get a list of artists that we can sign. And let's see, this 19 year old, Ray Lucas, is, I assume, isn't this guy one of our players? Yeah. This is a list of our players, isn't it? Okay, so. Yeah, I thought it actually gave us a list of people that, you know, would solve the problem. The pro backs camp and the anti backs camp, so. Interesting, interesting things that we can have a look at here. The team hierarchy, Tyler is the big boss. Let's commission a psychological profile. That sounds interesting. Yeah. We are going to try and do some. get some. Uh, Guess we'll have to do the status meeting. And we'll be doing some sports. We're gonna be sporty. Okay, so currently we are doing aggressiveness. I think that's fine. We're still doing the control offensive. Uh I think I want to stick with the offensive football with short passes rather. I think that's gonna benefit us more. I have an appointment with your sponsor from Tourism. Gastronomy is <laughs> they are extremely happy with the partnership so far. Uh, the management gives you a task for which you have until the end of the season. Score at least three goals ten times in the league. Okay, so we need to have ten three goal games. If I manage to do this, I'll get 20% more salary. If I fail, I have to lead a training session wearing a Liverpool shirt. Okay, this is... <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> like, this punishment is actually hilarious. Uh looking at that at that way and only i only get paid three <laughs> three thousand per week i get paid one hundred sixty thousand a year i i really am working for almost free here but yeah that punishment is actually kind of amazing it, it just needs to be said but yeah basically this is how your weeks are gonna go you get everything set up on basically monday you have meetings over the course of the week that you go through and things like that then you work your way forward so baron's yarn have been picked up by liverpool i guess he was the other option and as you can see he's probably a better uh option available than the play they want to snatch from us so that is a little bit worrisome training results not super good this week we have definitely improved though on our dribbling ability so i'll take it Energy stamina both been uh, recovered. Pressing has been uh, worked on, but we have definitely failed our uh, playing style. <laughs> that is worrisome. I think I'm still gonna, just going to stick with what the what it suggests here because it's not probably wrong, I would think. But we are definitely going to want to try and sign a player or two. So, let's see what we have here. Lohan Texier. Is a is a center defender that can cross. Hey, so look at. Let's be honest. We're not going to get this guy. We don't have the money. Carl Wilson could be someone that we should sign. Uh, let's see. Are there any cheap players that aren't too old that we could try and snatch? We could try and snatch this guy as a backup. Just seven and a half million. Red, white, Madrid. <laughs> uh. I still kind of want to try and snatch Marco Nordman here. Dude seems to just straight up be a legend. And it would be interesting to see if that we actually get increased shirt sales by snatching a legend. But I think what we saw is that we are lacking a good backup keeper. But at the same time, I don't know if it's something that we really, really want to invest too much into. Uh, let's see here. Can we find... One of those super strikers. 
Aras King. Where's this guy who is a, you know, two-star talent, but again, probably a little bit too low. Um, if I put the thing to South America, what do we get then? Nothing too good, but yeah, we do have a lot of scouting necessary to get things done. Okay, let us set the everything to everything. And right attacker, left attacker. So yeah, I, I wasn't necessarily wrong. Let's do it like this. Only have a look at the super talents. And currently there are three of them. This guy's kind of interesting though. Uh, Mohammed Ebian, he's Norwegian. 17 million. Could be interesting to snatch him just for, for that. But... I don't think that's going to work out too well. Let's see if we find someone who is a bit of a steal. This guy is actually a bit of a steal. He is 24 million. Potentially. 12.5. He's an international star. And if we take a look at this. 86% chance is going to be 2. 5% is going to be 3. But yeah, we're looking at the average rating here more so than anything else. Which means there's a high risk of a rating update in case of signing. So he might not be 12 and a half. He might be lower. He might be higher. Uh, we even need an extra uh, central defender. It's a big one. I don't think we necessarily need one is the thing. We have a talent here. And this guy. Still need going to need a bit of work though. He's 20 years old. Okay, let's just go through what we need here. We do have four central defenders. We don't really have any backups for the wing backs. Well, left defenders, right defenders. That should be a priority. Uh, we do have two goalies. Uh, backup goalie isn't anything to write home about. We have three defensive midfielders all around the same skill set. Left midfielder is definitely covered. Right midfielder is somewhat covered. We basically need one of those as well. Back in midfielders, we should be good. We only have one at the moment. And... Basically, I have a few too many that can play striker. So, what I'm thinking we do here is that we let go of some of these, like Yankin Toby. We're going to put him on the transfer list. We are going to take. Ali Cotterell, who is probably not a big talent. We're going to also sell him. Toby Johnson. Gonna keep him as the backup, and I'm gonna be selling Idris Potter. Is what I'm thinking. He's a top amateur player, so we'll put these three on the transfer list. And our goal is going to be to get a backup. Um, backup. We don't really need an attacking midfielder. Backup right midfielder, an extra left back and wing back, left and right wing backs. Sorry. There we go. Finally, mentally, I'm on the correct page now. Let's see what we can find. Uh, we have Dixon Arta, Bavaria Munich, who is a potentially good player. Let us go ahead with... Uh, we could just jump straight directly into pre-negotiation talks. So let's try that out. If it fails, it fails. He is a young player though, so we can probably sell him back for the same amount of money, I would think. And let's just go ahead and add a few more players. Honestly, I'll bring this back down in case we find talents. Uh, we have Kyle Wilkinson, who probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to bring in. Luca Yates is someone that we can just end the scouting job on, because I say so we're not going to be uh, buying him. It's just a waste of money. We do need a right winger as a backup. Find one. Doesn't look like there's many available. Could try and go for this guy as a right wing back. Backup, potentially very cheap, so let's add in a pre-negotiation right? talk for that as well. It's more of a gamble, but it seems like he's actually, no, he's not fully scouted. Just a question mark, yeah, it wasn't showing up properly. <coughs> okay, uh, next up, the striker. I'm sorry that I'm spending so much time on this, but honestly, it's just very interesting to mess around with it, personally. Uh... This guy actually doesn't have a team, so we could bring him in as a central defender for free. 
He is 34 years old, so let's just put him into the pre-negotiation talks. He can fill in a bit of a role there. Yeah, I think we are basically set then. We'll get these guys out of the way this week, and then we'll see what we have left. And then we'll spend money after that. I think that would be a good idea. Send a player to visit the fan club. Uh, who would be a good option? Jeffrey Davidson, since you won, you have a uh, chance. We can also do a meet of the fan club. Uh, I want to put that this week, not next one. Sure, I can go to status meeting. Friendly. Uh, I think we'll skip that, maybe. I think we're still at the... I think we're still at the training camp, so let's not do that. But yeah, that should be fine for this week. Finishing. I think we're fine here what we're doing. We are at training camp, so let's just keep this going. Uh, trust is not a priority for me at the moment, so basically has doesn't have much interest. So whether I'm assuming it. Okay, so both of them aren't really prioritizing transfers. Can certainly match a transfer. Thank you for taking the time to see me. Let's try and see if we can actually get transfer going then. Uh, moves to Everton for 40 million. Wondering if they're going to be losing uh, points in this game too then. They're extremely happy with the cooperation. Uh, fan club gladly welcomes me. So we see the knock to the ankle, must stop training. That's unfortunate. They'll be ready again for training tomorrow. Okay, so just a slight tap, I assume. Pre qualifier round. Again, nothing that matters too much for us. So we're just going to skip it. This carrot is kind of interesting. But yeah, you can stop it. You can pause it. You have some options. Ale Russo. Looks actually to be a very interesting signing. 17 years old. Potentially pretty good. They might have snatched uh, someone that I would have liked to sign, interestingly enough. I think we'll receive an additional 10 million for the coming season. How will these be distributed? Uh, best team received double the amount of the worst. All clubs should be treated equally. Best team received double the amount of the best. So I think we'll just go with equally. Ample popularity plus five. Okay. I guess I'll take that. Apparently, we are getting better at long distance shots. Which is fine. Okay, the training camp report. Weather was okay. Players had good conditions. We've reached maximum fitness. Uh, stamina and energy for that matter. Team spirit has gone up. One for all for all for one. Satisfaction has risen. Uh, okay. Development continues to progress. Cool. Unfortunately, Murphy did not have a good time. Uh, player Lee Jill Langley is the loser of the training camp and gets a 14th deduction of his current level process. That is... That's unfortunate, my man. Shane Collins got the... Basically, he siphoned his power. Which is... A weird sentence to say. In reference to football. I'll be honest. But yeah, I think we're going to do the season opener. And then we're going to probably end it here. Um, again, this game is very arcadey. But it is also a lot that you have to deal with. Interestingly enough. Uh, which of course does kind of, I don't know how I feel about it yet, honestly. It's kind of hard to, to say. Let's have a look at players that we were looking at, transfers. Okay, do I remember which ones I wanted to sign? Because apparently I did the wrong option there. Kyle Wilkinson, we are going to go with uh, Contra Talks, so yeah, can't really get him. Bavaria Munich, we did want to sign some of your boys. Uh, let's see if we can find them again. Richard Bricks. Okay, so doesn't really want to let him go. His offer is right. The club would only agree to sell a player. Bonus out of the question. So we're going to have a transfer negotiation. Yeah, we basically got a no there for Kyle Wilkinson. Which is a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. The other guy was the free one, wasn't he? Bertram James. So, we're going to add contract talks to him. And is there any others here of interest? Let's turn the age monitor down to, say, 22 years old. 
and see if we can find something. Yeah, so this guy's kind of interesting. He's just worth 8 million. Three star talent. Gallard Mathieu is kind of the same one. So let's try and pick up both of these guys. Uh, the club only agreed to sell. Let's go ahead and agree to that. Uh, let's see. Are there any, as I mentioned, is there any other interesting ones here? Like this guy, again, defensively would be good. Getting an English midfielder would be nice as well. Hmm. I know I'm currently not signing the players that we need, which is a bit of a problem. But getting um, this guy should be okay. Gives us even more midfielding potential. I'm very tempted to pick up one of the Utes here, honestly. Both of them are kind of the same. Eh. Raul Enriquez. This guy could be good as a uh, backup on the right uh, wing. Okay, let's try and negotiate for these guys. Currently, we have your uh, bricks. Let's switch those guys around. I am honestly happier with getting Enrique. This guy is the free one. This guy is the talent. So, just want to get make sure that I get the negotiations done in the correct order, basically. That should be fine. And we are negotiating for right. We need a left one. Six and after would be a good option. Uh, okay, let's go with that. That should be getting. That should give us most of the coverage that we are gonna need on the wing backs. So I'm happy with this. Let's see if we can get uh, something done. These negotiations, because that is basically works the same way as most other things do. Season opener. <laughs> Please get rid of the video evidence. Hopefully this match was hired to a temp agency. Okay. Hopefully the we have a collection of talentless athletes. They're pretty rough on us, honestly. The weather this year is gonna be bad. Turnover, profit. Let's see how this goes with the season opener stuff. Okay, so currently we are gonna have to negotiate. So we can just straight up sign him for twenty six million. Let's see if we can offer twenty. Twenty two. Share of a resale. Let's bring that down. Oh. I went too far. And we were not allowed to, to buy him as a response to that. You will nearly always play. I think that is a bit too much to hope for. You are going to be... Going to end up being more of a backup, honestly. Signing fee million. Basic salary 12 million per year. Uh, package price 47. He wants a how long contract? That's a bit too long. But 34 year old player. Okay, so yeah, we're not going to be able to. Uh, we're probably not going to be able to sign this guy just purely based on the fact that he wants too much. Uh, 12 million per year is a lot of money, let's be honest. And uh, while he is good, don't get me wrong, he is 34 years old, so I would expect him to, you know, start degrading. And you can kind of see it, the budget charging, 13 million. We are going to go ahead and say no thank you, which is unfortunate. So we have 12 difficult players, 8 anxious types, lives of the party, players with discipline problems. <laughs> So we do have some worrisome players here to deal with, apparently. But yeah, we're lacking artists, clearly. They want 56 million for him. Market value of 23. Let's see if we can bring it down to 35. Or 40, maybe. No agreement was reached. I suck at this, then. Market value of 13 million, so kind of like FM. Um, market value doesn't matter much for how much they actually want for these players. It is a bit problematic, but 
uh, bricks here, 30, I would be happy with. No agreement was reached, so yeah, they don't, they don't have to sell these players, which is kind of why it's problematic. Archer Dixon, which was the other guy that we wanted to try and, and get. They want 100 million for him. Mark about 44, yeah, we're going to go ahead and say no thank you. Now I'm very, very jealous of the fact that Everton managed to pick up that guy for 40. I am actually extremely jealous. Okay, we're going to have to take a look at players available to us and hopefully get the backup. Sorry about the black screen. I managed to alt tab there for a second. So, sorry about that. Twenty eight, add all kinds of talents and see what we can find here because we are currently in a bit of a. I was hoping it would be easier to buy players in this, but clearly it is not, which is a bit problematic. Saint Germain, I assume this is PSG. That's the best. Is this Villarreal? Maybe? Let's try and see what, how much Barcelona wants for this guy. Oh. So as you can see there, we might have to use action points to actually sign him because we aren't a big enough club that he would come to us over Barcelona, which is understandable, to be fair. Matona Sia, let's see if we can actually get this guy instead of uh, the other one. Again, as a backup, uh, he, his value is a bit lower. Breaks here as well. We could try and negotiate again, but yeah, not interested at the moment. James Adam. He is already on our team. <laughs> kind of interesting you can find your own players here, honestly. But currently, we're just going through here to see what we can. We can find what we can snatch, which is kind of a... It's not a great look. Let's put it like that. This guy seems interesting. He has a lot of uh, positives. Let's see if we can uh, maybe make a deal for him. I'm also kind of pulling the being a little bit aggressive here in terms of shopping. Because I'd like to see if we can pick up some of these players before the season actually begins proper, which would be nice. What will happen left wing back, William Chapman? This guy wouldn't be a terrible idea either. If we can get him for, you know, a decent sum of money. So can I add no club? I guess I can't. Could add perks here, as you can see. Um, players without contract, that's the one I'm looking for. Actually, 9.2 right wing back. That wouldn't be a terrible, you know, backup. But probably nothing too good here for us. It's basically if you want to go in the bargain bin. Let's see, players with ending contracts. They should be a little bit cheaper. I, I feel. It might not necessarily be through, but I do feel like they should be a little bit cheaper on the open market. I'll be Butler. Let's try and see if we can snatch him. He is uh, British. British. No, he's Scottish and uh, English. Get the idea. I I don't like the way they place the, the information here because it makes it look it makes it at my like when I do a first glance it makes it look like it's the uh, Northern Ireland likes to me for some weird reason, which is weird, honestly. Do we need a backup Ryan midfielder though? So Brandon Wester might be a good option. Let's see if we can get some contract talks, and we'll try these four for this week. Um, Let's go ahead and invest some money. Uh, at this point, we're basically not getting anything both anyways. And 
You can see a tapering against Nottingham. We could add in some active recuperations, some uh, gymnastics, penalty kicks, short corners, video analysis. Might as well get that done. That should help. Do I want a training camp? No. Strain, strain, strain. I think it's fine. Again, just leave it kind of open. But we are going to have our first uh, vision match day. They want 12.5 million for Nasir. I think I'm happy with that. Again, it's a backup player. So let's try and do this. Just negotiate it slightly down. And they're happy with that. So let's sign the contract. That is good. Now we just have to negotiate a player contract. So as you can see, we not only have to pay budget for buying, but we also have to pay money for the uh, uh, the contract itself. So there are a couple of things to take into consideration. He's 25 years old. I have no problem with a long contract. This looks fine. I would love to get that negotiated down a little bit, maybe. How do you feel about this? Probably should be a little bit more aggressive negotiations here, but considering how you know hard we've been getting hit with other things, kind of do need to get some of these players signed. 50 million, we're just gonna say no thank you. Again, probably would be worth it in the long run. Chapman here. That's what I'm gonna offer you. 40 million. So we can negotiate like that. No. 34 for Albie Butler. How about we pay you 23? I think also we do have negotiation points. So this limits to how much we can negotiate. And I also do have a fairly bad reputation as a bundle of nerves. So that probably does have a effect on, you know, my ability to negotiate. Congratulations, a new record. Record transfer for an ACMA 2. Uh, which honestly is fine. 10.9 is his actual level, so he's not terrible. He's a stamina energy. He's a team player. Doesn't have any much potential here, so yeah. Probably am overpaying him a little bit. That's usually how things turn out. And 24 million for a fairly young player that we can use as a option wouldn't be terrible. Let's see if we can negotiate down to 20. They agree. I think I'm happy with this. We still need a left wing back, but uh, this could still be good. So we can get that down to, say, 4.6. 4.8. Can we be happy with 5? We can. Let's go ahead and sign this. Again, probably a little bit on the high side, but we're basically just filling in the gaps that we need to make our strategy work. Finance department, execute an investment. New record transfer <laughs> again. Uh, pretty decent, honestly. He has to armor his energy. He's not very satisfied, but uh, that's okay. Probably pay a little bit over value for him, but it's okay. Toby Jenkins apparently scouted. <laughs> Yes, he's been apparently scouted. Now we're going to have our first season opener. We're going to be traveling to Nottingham in the Arsenal Arsenal area, London. Or are they traveling to us? I would assume so. Since that's the Arsenal area. Yeah, we're, they're traveling to us. That makes more sense. Game is sold out. Let's see what we can do. Looks like everyone is uh, in good shape. Brand West actually goes immediately into the team. Unless they have the exact same stat and my memory is bad, but I believe that is uh, the new guy. And I do want to bring another my midfielder. So, Potter Idris. Let's do it like this. This should be okay. We are going to have to get a central defender here because we do have Anton Tyler, who's kind of uh, on the older side. We also do have some satisfaction issues, uh, so it is okay. Form is good. Uh, Adam has kind of poor form. Potter Idris and Harley Cotterow kind of got brought in due to their form rather than anything else is what I'm seeing. But yeah, I, I think I'm happy with the lineup here. And we'll go with this. So let's get into it. Going to be playing Nottingham. 
We are very good at crossing currently, so still playing centrally looks to be the, the play here. Let's tune that up. Focus it like so. Mostly central. Uh, let's do it like this centrally and then we work our way. Maybe move our voice a little bit closer to the inside would be beneficial. But I think this should be okay. So let's get into it. They have basically a 10 average. We are close to 11 or 12. Um, where's the team? Well, the market value, we basically have five times as much market value in our squad. But boy, is kind of uh, a huge amount of that. Okay. It's an important match today. We can use some standard speed to see. As you can see, we have uh, motivation points. I don't think we need to at the moment. So, uh, just going to go ahead and live with that. There's still a sword community. We did lose some tendency or rather um, team spirit. We are going to be focusing this game, be aggressive and mean, so we're going to go ahead and be a little bit aggressive. It is the seasonal opener. We want to start on a good one, so let's go ahead and get this going. So far, possession seems to be a little bit in our favor, just ever so slightly. But nothing of interest has happened in the course of these first uh, 16 minutes. One of them has picked up a card, though. There's a counterattack. That's bad. He's uh, through on goal. That's a good save from our goalie. That's also kind of worrisome. We might need to turn down our aggressiveness slightly. The aggressive is what's set to all out attack, so. I thought it was 50 XP directly on Keeper is interesting. Yeah, let's turn it down to offensive. And. Oh! He's been given a red. Man picked up a yellow, and then a second yellow. Kind of immediately. That should give us a. You know. Bit of a benefit here. If we can actually make something happen. Attack by A London. Let's see what we can do. Come on, Tucker. Cross it in. Nice. I do feel like the we are I do feel like we're kinda of buff right now. Because uh First chance we get, we score. Free kick for Nottingham. Shot with inside, and it's uh, off the target. That is incredibly unfortunate. But yeah, we do. F it f does feel like we're very, very lucky at the moment. Hey, we have made it to half time. Just need to wait for the other games to finish. Pretty much ruthless. <laughs> I can kill analysis. Um, tells us how we actually got, got our thing here. Attack up the right wing. High cross. Counter attack. Combination play direct. It could be that I'm reading the thing wrong, however, and that we should be focusing on uh, the wings rather than the center. That would make kind of sense as well. But yeah, reading has never been the strong suit. So, let's see assignments. Let's see. Act weak spot. Ezra Dixon is a weak spot because he's been sent off. <laughs> Honestly, we should uh, delegate the team tasks if we can. Okay, so yeah, we already have it delegated, so it's good. I think we're fine to just continue then. Yeah, we're not really setting a lot of chances. I think we want to go exceptionally offensive here. We do have a man advantage, so as long as we keep up with playing, you know, the short passing game, we should, with a little bit of extra pressure, be able to keep things going. Let's see what we can do in terms of substitutions. Uh, just then, they get an attack. I might regret that. I'm clicking that button earlier. 
passes back. And there's a shot. Nice save there from Valen. They're going to be following up with a corner. That too is worrisome. Yeah, actually, wise, it should be behind. But our goalie is playing masterfully. Okay, ratings. Let's have a look here. You can actually see it there. Valen has a 10 rating. Uh, our striker is not playing well. So I'm thinking we are going to be replacing him with Keith Johnson. It's going to be giving a go here. And our attacking midfielder, not really doing well either. We have a purely attack midfielder, not really. But Hathaway is going to be given a chance. Then I'm back for the uh, right midfielder. He's actually a right wing back, mainly. But can't be playing as a right midfielder, so that's fine. Not his preferred position. It's a secondary position, you can't see it there. Stats aren't amazing. But with that now, we have actually taken on most of the players that have been uh, struggling a little bit. We still need to get that left... Uh, that left uh, wing back back up as well. Because currently we don't have one. I think what we're going to do here is just play ball possession football. Uh, and take things a little bit easier. Because we do have now... We do have the lead. We just need to kind of control this game if we can. So... Could play things a little bit slower. That would be beneficial. So yeah, I am reading correctly. We have a advantage center and on the right side though. Uh, what we want to do though is tune it this down to cautiously defensive, and that should hopefully make things a little bit easier for us. We have picked up a yellow card for unsporting conduct. That's a good pass. And another pass. Long shot. Just outside. Still a good attempt though from our defensive midfielder. We'll take that. A throw in for Nottingham. Is this one of those uh, long ones into the... Uh... Oh, we gave that away. Whelan is saving our everything right now. Our bacon. Man's a legend. That's unfortunate. That's a good save from the uh, Nottingham uh, goalie. I thought we had that one. That's the ball. Oh, another header. Now goalie uh, on the other side is building up some XG. Or goals denied, rather. Some XD instead. But yeah, they have three versus 1.32. So yeah, we, we definitely did. We've definitely been very lucky here. And we get one final attack on overtime. Crossing, and header from Collins. That is well wide. <laughs> I agree with that. Special foul play. I think I'm, I think I'm going to end up having to take uh, to coach a session in a Liverpool shirt. If uh, if this this keeps up. Now uh, we have to ask to see how other matches still playing. I assume someone is uh, having some intense overtime here. But Burnley City game. It's kind of interesting to see that they actually ended up with a draw. That's a bit surprising. Uh, Tottenham beat Brentford. United beat uh, Wolverhampton. Chelsea more Liverpool. Everton beat Fulham. Weston beat Bournemouth. Pretty decent. Yeah, at least we did win. 
We didn't deserve to win, but we did win. Uh, London wins first match of the season against Nottingham. I'm not sure whether the current system play is doing any favors to Nerebags. Doesn't fit his team. I didn't play that brought in. Or if it should be changed, at least the result was acceptable. Okay. I don't know if I should take this as advice. I probably should, let's be honest. Or if it's just the uh, negative, you know, the standard negativity again. Player of the day, Rice Reese Michaels, Michaels of uh, Everton. Trick of the week is ours. Do we actually get anyone from our team here? Yeah, well then, of course. <laughs> I'm not surprised if Wellen made it onto team of the week. And was an actual war. Yeah, uh, Matuna Sia here got a bit of a boost. I assume that is because he's fresh. Same here with Brandon West. Basically, what I assume has happened is that they've just caught up to where they were before we signed them, which would kind of make sense. Signing puts it down to zero, and then we basically get back to back to the base once they actually have played a game. I think that's how I interpreted at least, unless of course they had critical breakthroughs. Uh, the game is fairly new, so I have still not tested a lot of things, as mentioned. Team Spirit, one for all, one for all. We had a huge game there, so we'll be very, very happy with that. Claudio Pecora to Liverpool. Naples get a 36 million fee. Schedule negotiations for uh, Toby Jenkins. One of those that we did want to try and sell. He's 31 years old, and if Cam Cambridge wants to buy him for a million, I think we'd be happy with that. As uh, as unfortunate that is, that he would be that cheap. But yeah, Liverpool has actually done a fairly decent uh, decent deal here. Thirty six million. He's potentially very very good. Fairly young, so I probably should just spend a hour or two just having the transfer market because let's face it, uh, all of the players here are randomly generated. So well, not really fully randomly generated, I believe. I'm actually unsure, but we don't have their. Uh, Real life names if they aren't randomly generated, and if they are randomly generated, we're gonna to struggle to find them anyways. But I should have taken some time to sit down and find players. But again, I want to have a look at uh, a somewhat different game, and that is what this is. And it has been interesting. I think I might have some fun with this, but honestly, at this point, I'm pretty sure I would still prefer FM. This is probably just a little bit too arcadey. There's a little bit too many uh, systems, honestly. I feel, but it could definitely be, could definitely be refined. Could definitely be interesting to see how it develops. But yeah, let me know what you think. If you want to see more of this, uh, it is an interesting game. It, it does. It's definitely different from Football Manager. It does its own thing, so it could very very well end up becoming, uh, end up becoming good, very very good. But yeah, gonna have to play it a little bit more. See how debt and deep it actually is, how some of the systems work, and then take it from there. But I hope you have enjoyed this. Again, uh, I did enjoy this uh, game. It is a bit of fun. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Let me know what you think. I did get a key for free too. So uh, keep that in mind. I forgot to mention that earlier. Apologies. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And uh, let me know if you want to see more of this. Bye bye.